Creepers! What's up you crazy creeps? It's Claire Skin. I'm back. How the heck are you guys? So today I'm on an incredibly busy street. This is the Jade District, better known to Portlanders as 82nd Avenue. And I'm going to creep right off the main thoroughway here so you guys can you guys can hear me a little better. But the reason why I'm here today is to show you guys an old Portland relic, which is now uh, no longer here, but for many years was a very, very iconic and happening place at one point, um, being one of the biggest pizza parlors, main attractions on the weekends. Um, we're gonna take a look at the old organ grinder. No, not organ like the state or like your kidney, but more so like the thing you hear at baseball stadiums. That's right, the organ grinder was one of Portland's most famous pizza places a little place to go for your birthday and stuff and it just sits right back here so it's gonna be a good one stay tuned people think of great music and family entertainment some people think of a great place to celebrate the kids birthday but everybody thinks of great pizza above all the organ grinder means delicious quality pizza made from the finest ingredients and the price is always great Organ Grinder Pizza, the best entertainment and pizza value in town. Opening August 26 of 1973 at 5015 Southeast 82nd Avenue, we are standing directly across the street, and as you can see, the sign now reads Super King Buffet. But if you look closely, this sign actually holds some remnants and history of the original sign, including the original bulbs that are on the poles and actually go around the sides of the sign itself and if you looked off to the left back in the day you would have seen a giant monkey resting on the handle of the grinder hence the organ grinder and it was all lit up at night with really cool little bulbs and I believe some neon as well <laughs> As we get a little closer, you guys can see right inside this plastic here, some of the original bulbs. Look at that, some of the original bulbs from the original sign on both of the pillars. And if you can see, the basic structure of the sign is the same. Even when you look up top here, along the bottom of the, which now reads Super King Buffet, you can actually see the little sockets where the bulbs would have ran right along the edges of all, all the sign there. Some of the original sign. And then if you pan over here to the side of the building, you can still see that the structure is mainly glass so that you could actually see the pipes of the organ that would run basically all the way up the structure here to the top creating a great sound acoustic for the inside of the building and if you look closely you can actually see two little holes up there little notches where they would have here let me get in a little closer they would have vented the organ right inside the building to create great sound and acoustics for the building. and as we look at the screenshot from an old circa 1980s picture you can see the basic structure of the building and sign has stayed the same. Now back in the day they would have had little tiny mouse holes. Their uh, mascot being a little mouse. They would create these little windows or bubbles that would exist on the side of this building. One being right about here with a larger entrance here. In its prime, you can see a bunch of people going in. This place would gross about $8,000 a night. Throughout the years, it's stayed basically the same. You can see this giant glass structure, the windows. And if we pull back just a bit, you could actually see the organ pipes that would run up this taller part of the building there for many years.
A lot of good memories as a kid here, you guys. It's nice to see that the building still kept its original facade. The big, big glass windows for the organ and stuff, but like I said, brings back a lot of good memories. Cool that the sign stayed somewhat the same too over the years, but definitely loved coming here as a kid. As I walk over here to the door and peek the camera over to the door here, you can see that the business is now closed and we're not sure when they will reopen. But if you actually put the camera inside the glass here, you can see some of the old woodwork from the original pizza parlor still exist inside there, which was really beautiful. I remember the entire inside of the building was all that wood. Here's an actual shot of the inside so you can see all that beautiful wood and also the lights. But there's the organ itself as well. And unfortunately in February of 1996 the organ grinder pizza would finally serve its last pie. This place seen a lot of good memories and a lot of great times in Portland but was closed due to financial reasonings not really associated with the restaurant and also the newer pizza places like a little place that you may have heard of called Chuck E. Cheese was now being open and functioning in Portland with animatronics being the leader of the pizza game organ grinder closed Well, that's going to do it from the old the old Oregon grinder. <laughs> like I said, just coming down here and stepping in the parking lot brings back a lot of good memories. So, I'll definitely try and add some of those pictures like I said of the of the Oregon itself. So, I appreciate you guys very much for tuning in. As always, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. You can ring that bell that way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. Like I said, that's going to do it from Southeast Portland, the old organ grinder. If you guys are like me, you love Portland, you love Portland history, so. With that being said, Creeper out for now. Peace. It says to where the organ went, so I Googled it. Google says the organ was sold to an investor who split it up for parts, and the Colso went to a gentleman by the name of Garrett Shecklin of Groton, Massachusetts for use in his conference center. Interesting.